Hi, uh, in this session I am going to explain about how to link text frames. So if you observe this is my text frame and this is another text frame. There is a link from text frame 1 to the text frame 2. So this is a link and we will see how we can give the link between these two. So I am just deleting these two text boxes. So for that uh, this is my toolbox. I am just writing or I am just clicking the text tool and I am just making some paragraphic text here. I have some text on my clipboard. I have copied it. So just pick the tool and increase the font size. Okay. Now I have increased my font size. Now if you observe my text frame here, you can see the down arrow, black down arrow. That means there is still text is there which is overflowing the frame. So if you want to view that, just drag your down arrow mark so that now see here. Now if I click my text frame, so that down arrow mark is not visible. That means this is my last character of my text frame. So this is the content is actually overflowing of my current page. Okay, so that is why I am getting the down arrow. See here, that is down arrow. So what I am trying to do is, I am just creating one more text box here and I will copy or move the overflowing content into the text box and then you can give a link from this text frame to the other text frame. So for that just select text tool and just drag it here and now so first you, you are going to give a link from first to second so first select the second text box keep shift on and select the first text box so just say pick tool click the second text box then select the first text box with shift control and go to the text in the menu bar you can find text and click paragraph text frame and here you can find link just click link now you can observe the arrow this arrow pointing to the second text box now if if you click this first text frame you can find there is no down arrow here because the content is copied into this frame. Now if you see here you are having down arrow. That means still the content is in this text frame. So if you want overflowing the text frame. So if you want even that also to be copied into the other text. So you can just click the text and just drag the text area and select this. Just select this, say shift and select your first and just go to text and paragraph text frame and say link. Now see here if you observe there is a link from first text area to the second text frame and from second text frame to the third one. Now if I click it here there is no down arrow, if I click it here there is no down arrow, if I click it here there is no down arrow. So what I have done is my entire bigger text frame, paragraphic text frame, which is having the overflowing content, I have moved to two different paragraphic text frames, okay, with no overflowing content. So this is how you can just give links to the paragraphic text frame. So if you want to move it, see, I'll select it and I'll try to move. So I cannot move or I cannot separate any one of this because three are linked with each other. If suppose if I want to remove or uh, delete the link, so select, keep pressing the shift and select these three text frames, go to text and just click paragraph text frame and say unlink. Now if you observe here there is no link from first to second and from second to third. Now you can just select it and you can move it wherever you want because this text boxes are the individual text boxes. See now you can drag it and you can move it wherever you want because now there is no link among these three. 
this is a different this is different and this is also a different this is how you can give links to the paragraphic text frames